Let's get back to politics. Donald Trump, he really pointed the finger at Democrats last night. He says, look, these, they are exploiting African-American voters. Roll tape. My opponent, Hillary, would rather protect the offender than the victim. Big problem in our society. Hillary Clinton-backed policies are responsible for the problems in the inner cities today, and a vote for her is a vote for another generation of poverty, high crime, and lost opportunities. Joining us now is one of the foremost experts on urban policy. That would be Heather McDonald with the Manhattan Institute. Heather, welcome to the program. Good to have you. You're a Thank star. You, it's great to have you with us today. Oh, I appreciate it. You're a star, Stuart. I'm glad, glad to be with you. Isn't this oh. fun? <laughs> now, seriously, seriously, okay? <laughs> Donald Trump made a remarkable charge last night. He said, look, uh, the, the Democrats and Hillary Clinton are responsible for the trouble in our inner cities. This is your subject. Has he got a point? He's definitely got a point. This was a very radical and profound speech. I think the most important thing that he said was that the false narrative about the police is leading not just to this violent crime surge in inner cities, but also even to the Milwaukee riots. Uh, and Hillary Clinton has been a foremost proponent of this completely false idea that the police are racist. As a result, cops are backing off in inner city neighborhoods and lives are being taken, above all, black lives. He's taking a completely opposite point of view from the policies that have been in place for, what, two generations. It is, it, it, you say it's a radical presentation. Really? Well, yes, because we now are living in the world created by Black Lives Matter. We are living a lie that says that the police are the biggest threat facing young black men today. That is not the case. The police have saved tens of thousands of minority lives, as Trump said last night. Uh, but as, as long as the cops continue to be demeaned by President Obama and by Hillary Clinton and by large segments of the media, uh, they're not going to be engaged in the type of proactive policing that saves lives. Do you think he's going to get anywhere? <laughs> it's very hard to change minds. You can put the facts out there. You can put the facts out there that actually a higher proportion of whites and Hispanics are killed by the police than blacks. Uh, and, that, and that proactive policing saves lives, not takes them. And it doesn't change the narrative. There's too much investment in it. Yes, it's a political investment on the part of Democrats, but I think there's also just a profound ideological investment uh, on the part of the elites yeah. Uh, to believe that, that we're living in a racist society, and that's just not the case. Heather, you've got to come back and say some more, okay? Promise you'll do that. You're a star. Thank you, Stuart. Sure thing. Thanks very much, Heather.